Dwayne Harris asks, Youth Man, have you done a video for the first timer that wants to do a projector and a screen? In my next home, I have the option of a 77 inch or going with a projector. 13 foot by 16 foot room with eight foot ceilings. Dwayne, that is an absolute great question and I actually get that question a lot here on the channel. Really today, we've got a lot of options. We've got screens on TVs that are getting larger and larger, 77 inches, 80 inches, 82 inches. And it probably won't be too many years before maybe even 100 inch screens, TVs become kind of readily available and affordable. But right now, probably 80 inch is kind of that, what I would consider the affordability um, in what TVs have to offer. And so looking at that compared to a screen, you know, with a projector, a couple of questions I want to ask. Number one, is your room light controlled? If your room is not light controlled, meaning there's a lot of ambient light, if you're looking at a projector, I would definitely look at something like an ultra short throw projector with an ambient light rejection screen. Um, most projectors, even like my JVC, it was about $10,000 brand new. It's not going to perform well in a room that has a lot of ambient light. It's really designed to be in a very light controlled room where you can make the room really, really dark and that's where you're gonna get the absolute best image. So ultra short throws are a great option if you're gonna put this like in a living room when you've got like maybe bay windows or double sliding glass doors where it's letting in a lot of ambient light. The good thing with most ultra short throw projectors is you can get a 100 inch, sometimes up to a 120 inch screen. And so going from a, a 77 inch to a 100 or even a 120 inch screen, that is a massive difference. Um, in size. And so I know from my own personal experience, when I first built my theater room about 14 years ago, maybe 15, I had a 103 inch screen. Initially, I was looking at going with a 55 inch TV. Um, as you can see in this picture, I actually mapped it out. I went on uh, walmart.com, found the dimensions of the screen, taped it off a of blue painter's tape, walked to kind of the back of the room and I looked at this small square on this big wall, 13 foot uh, with 10 foot ceilings. And I realized quickly that that wasn't going to provide that movie experience that I was looking for, that immersive experience. And so I went with a 103 inch screen. Even sitting from nine foot from that screen, I always felt like I was looking at the screen, even though that's 103 inch, that seems like a pretty, pretty nice size image, big image, but I never really felt immersed. I never felt like I was kind of in the movie. I always felt like I was looking at the movie. And so later on down the road, when I upgraded my speakers, I needed to go with a bigger screen. And so I ended up going almost wall to wall. So my room is 13 feet wide. My projection screen is about 12 feet wide. It's 150 inch diagonal and I sit nine feet from it. Absolutely love it. Now that might be on the borderline of too big. Um, you might want to back up a little bit from that. I'm not saying you have to go with a 150 inch screen, but even a 120 inch screen is going to provide you with a massive amount of immersion over a 77 inch. So my vote, I'm a projector guy, man. If you're really into movies and and enjoying that type of content in your setup, whether it's a living room or a bedroom or a dedicated theater room like this, my vote is go for the home theater, go all in, get you a projector, whether it's a regular projector or an ultra short throw projector if you've got a room with a lot of ambient light. Now I've got a lot of videos on ultra short throw projectors. There's two that I really, really love. Um, there's an LG 85HU, I believe is the model number and then the Hisense L9, I think it's L9G. Um, I'll link those down in the description. Those are by far my favorite two ultra short throw projectors. I think I kind of lean more towards the Hisense, but both of those are fantastic. Um, they're gonna cost a little bit more definitely than a 77 inch, but I think where you're going from 77 to 120, man, that would just be absolutely phenomenal. So I hope this video has been helpful to you answering your questions. 
Guys, if you've got questions, leave them down in the comments. I'm going to be doing this weekly and just answering questions that come up in the comments. But if you've got specific questions and I don't get to it, um, feel free to hit me up on Patreon. Patreon is a great way that not only you can, you can support the work that I do here on the channel, but it also gives you direct access to me because I answer every one of those questions on patreon.com forward slash youthman. Well, guys, hope you have an incredible week. God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.